this is part five we're going to be putting the top end on now my oil pump the reeds and i'll be putting the flywheel on when i put the engine at the base first of all get the base gasket we've already rubbed all the stuff off around here so we'll just put that on it's a gasket on now we get the little ends and just loop the little end bearings up and in there as well and just slide the slide the little end in now get the piston this is 57.90 and get the circlip and put this circlip into this side so the circlip's in that side when that's on the bike I'll show you why in a minute that's the circlip in that side of the piston now get some lube and lube all the way around the rings all the way around just here and make sure it's lube all the way around like that now put the side the rings on that little ring comes that goes in the bottom groove so I'm going to put that on now and have that little black ring like that so when the rings over it nips up over the notch now get your bottom ring sometimes they've got letters on there so these haven't on these ones but if they've got letters the letters face up so if you go on that way and you can read the letters when you're looking down anyway we'll put this one on first now we can get the top ring on it's the beveled one there it goes if I'm over it there and I look at the outside that goes from the outside like down like that anyway just make the groove just slide it all the way around that's that one on so now we've got the piston we've got the rings in we've got the circle on that side Got the pin in there, we're gonna put it in there, the piston now. That's the back of the piston. We've got the two notches, then both nip up to go into your piston. So that one there nips over that little notch, and that one there nips over that notch. Like that, so it's flat, and then it slides into the piston. If you ever working on so it slides into the barrel, I mean if you ever working on a paint and hasn't got the point, just remember these notches is also at the back of the piston. So anyway we're gonna we're gonna nip them and get them into the bottom of the barrel. Now that's the piston in with the rings with the rings in properly. Just see it over that little groove there. Put the in from anyway, that's why I put the circle in that side. You can see your little end bearing through this wall here. And you see it just, just slide in, just pushes in. We'll put that circlip in the other side of the piston now. That's the circlip in. Now we just slide the slide the barrel down. And that's the barrel on. So now we can put the four bolts on. Four nuts. Don't forget to put your clutch cable arm on. Just get these four bolts on, tighten them up. That's the barrel on. It's the three BN barrel which is on the 88 to the 1997 models the newer ones are free MB00 and they're the nickel plated ones these ones have got a steel liner in you can re them up like this is re all the way up to 5790 but these barrels come as 56.4 standard it's the new nickel ones are just 56 as standard the free MB00 barrels so anyway we're going to get the cylinder head on now first we're going to put the head basket on BN Yamaha one. <clears throat> a lot of people have asked us when they get the bikes reboard, do you have to open this part of the gasket up? This is gonna answer it. That's it there. You just leave, leave your gasket, that piston's top set, top dead centre there. That's not touching the gasket. So you can just your gasket's alright, you can just leave it. You don't need to open that down there. Right, now we're gonna put the get the cylinder head on. Now we've got five washers. Just put them on. You've got to put these on because if you don't, the bolt head comes through the top of the dome and splits through. We also use dome heads as well because it, it protects the threads from water. So just put these on, tighten them up. And when you've done them up your hand, 
do this one take this one take this one take this one take this one just do it all in a sequence don't just tighten one because you walk your head just keep going around This from Spotted to go on, it's off a of Jalea SC. Just put that on. I bought another one of these. So just. That's it. And you put your nut, it's got to dip in, put it on that way, because this goes over them teeth on the shaft. Tighten that up on my own, bang the bang the bits over. So I kind of bang on the it now. And the new front sprocket seal comes. It's 26 inside diameter. And 38 outside diameter. And the width is 5mm down there. The one what's on is um the one what's on is 28. So the diameter is a bit bigger. So I'm just gonna put this on now. Slide that out. Pop that old seal out. Yeah, 28. So we're just going to fit the new one in. Just move around the middle with some two stroke oil as well. Just slide the collar back on. Now I'm going to put the power valve in. If you can see on there, it's all weighed down on there. And the pistons, the 58 point, the 57 point 90. So I'm going to put this half of the power valve in on the other other side, where it's all weighed and show where the pistons hitting, because I'm going to have to grind all this down. So let's get this down to you now. That's that side of the power valve in. Then with the rub marks, and we're having a big piston. You'll see the piston come up here. I'm trying to kick start it. There's the piston there. If it'll zoom in there. Look, well, it's jammed there. I can't kick it down anymore. I'm pushing on it. So it's a good job I checked the power valve. Showed from this edge as well, there's the power valve. When they're fully open, that, that bit of this is missing the bore. Well, they're not rational power valves. When that bit there is missing and it spins this way, then when you drop your throttle back, that comes back, it'll hit the piston. There, it's jammed there. See, it won't move. So, we're going to shave the power valve. It's got the wear marks there because that'll be in the piston, but it's got these wear marks as well. So somebody else had the power valve turned right round like that for the piston to be rubbing it. I'm going to file all this now anyway. And I lost that little power valve pegging pin to peg it into place. And that's just the the pegs will go in the middle of the power valve. They fit in the holes perfect, nice and flush. Nice and flush. You just got to grind them down. It's, it's just, it just goes on there to keep the power valve into place. You take that out, you can turn the power valve up. It just looks on there. And anyway, we'll get the power valve in now. Yeah, we'll get it grinded down now. This is just a quick demonstration. If you can see up there, I'll turn that. If that side of the power valve is flush. If I put my finger up there, it's flush, it's fully open. And that's a light there on the bike. Fully open, you put your pin through there. And when you start your bike up, that comes back like that. So when that comes back, that's when the power valve is dropping back. So see, you put it back to there, so it's fully open. Make sure that's still flush up there, which it is. <clears throat> and if you look in your barrel here, that 
anger it. That's your barrel here in the pole vault at the front. When the bike starts, the pole valve drops like that. It comes into your barrel. Like that. And then when you rev it, the more you rev it, the more the pole valve opens. So when you turn your key on your electric start one, it goes zzz, zzz, and goes to full. When you start it, the pole valve drops like that. And that's what's bit there has been rubbing on this on this one. So we're gonna get all that filed around there so it's off the piston. Because if you look down the bore, you can when I turn it to there to there, you can see the pole valve sticking out into this bore. So we're gonna file that down now. And I've shaved the pole valve, that's it in there, you'll see the piston going up millimeters off. That's all right now. So I'll get this off of the power valve in here. That's the valve there. No, we can put the thermostat in. <coughs> this just didn't have the thermostat. So let's put that rubber ring in first. Put the thermostat in. I've got a gasket somewhere else. So we'll put the gasket on. Should put the water pump housing on as well <clears throat> and get the free screws in we'll tighten that up next we'll put some new reeds in new inlet spool in there with a washer on and we'll put the end cap on the other side of the power valve this gasket here they don't make these anymore so i've just made this out of two millimeter gasket paper going around there and i thought these took two seals like the new power valves they only take a gasket and one seal on the thing you can only take that one seal and end cap like the new ones take one here and one on the under side, other side of the power valve so just remember that because I ask a few people about that because I haven't done many of these power valves I've just done the electron, electronic ones but anyway we'll, we'll get that on all these on what I've just said so now it's nearly ready to put in the bike I'm going to put the reeds on now. Took out the gasket there. Take that two reeds one out there. Just put that on. And I'm going to put a new inlet on as well. I think the one I took off this was rough. I'm not sure. I'll have a look. But I'll probably put a gun on anyway. That's the reeds that was on. Got tons of free tees upstairs. But look at the gap in the reeds. Oh, that didn't even come off. It's glued on. See the glue down there. Anyway, I'm going to go and get a new inlet as well. And I've just brought this engine down because I'm going to strip it tomorrow. I'm going to take that inlet off it. The reeds. I was going to use them. Still got the proper Yamaha gaskets on. But I'm going to strip this tomorrow. So if anyone needs any parts, good parts. Clean part, let us know. Good clutch arms and stuff. The casings is off a of 2010, so you can put them in your, your DDRE 2007 2006. Crank, mint flywheel, starter motor, clutch casing, good gearbox in it, very good gearbox in it. Instead of putting a 20 year old gearbox in you'd be putting these gearboxes in that out of these that's what i always do that aim in and off stop talking and put it onto the bike good thing as well i always blow down that little tube just to make sure two straight oil is coming down that little thing there right we'll get this on then in the reeds Down. Got the two. These are seventy millimeter, seventy millimeter ones for the stator. On the DTR ones, the two screws will go through because they don't hit a stator. They only sixty five mil. But anyway, just that one goes on through that hole. Just put that on. 
Right, next, I've just took this bar off the engine now and then the floor when I'm stripping them off. So now I won't put the coolant bar on. I've got a rubber ring. Just put the rubber ring over there. We'll tap that in with the hammer shortly. I haven't put the bracket in, so I'm going to take that big screw out. Attach the bracket to it. That big long one being this way here. So that's the long ball out of that case, and got that little bracket. What a fix to off the cooling tube. So we're gonna. So that's the bracket I was on about for the water tube. Just goes into there. Oil pump I'll put on tomorrow. Carbs done, reeds is on. Fly wheel good with key. Washer and the bolt on there. But the power valve's all right, it's pinned in place. Not much more really. I'm waiting for a little rubber ring on there. I've got, where's it at? I've got to order, order off somebody. There goes this back. This back genuinely on my heart chain slider. Chain runner, whatever they're called. For £14, I got some. I've got some of them little grommets. And they fit on them screws, what fit in the side casings, them funny screws. Um, no more grommets. I've got a 20 air filter for it for this one. Some stickers here if anyone wants them. Some messages in the comments, and you're just gonna have them. It's coming on good. Put the mud guard on now. A few more bits and bobs I'm waiting for. I've ordered one of them. Back brake needs bleeding. That's the mud guard I got. I've got one indicator. I need an indicator for that side. With the bracket, because the brackets are different to the front two. I've just put two front two brackets up where your front indicator, but I've got another front bracket down there, just above the ratchet. Got some new hand guards, new front wheel guard. Put the switches on, put the clocks on tomorrow. I don't know if I've just said I've got them white hand guards. I've got the radiator guards are there. In the original ones with the red scratch and faded, I might try and restore them. Tomorrow's video the engine's done in there just to go straight into the bike. Then we'll probably stick and I want to rig it all up and get it started. That's all the engine in now. Some of it's rigged up, some of it isn't. But I'll get the rest of it done today. Right, the other part will be probably out today. There's not much to do to it now. I still have to wait for some bits, but I can get it built up ready. I think I've got a carby packet coming and some bolts and a few other things. Thanks for watching.